Hello, everybody, and happy Tuesday night. I am so glad you guys are back for another awesome episode of Season Sunflower Hour. As always, if you're new, welcome to the show. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And make sure you guys hit that heart button to follow us and subscribe so you do not miss an episode. And speaking of awesomeness, I want to start the show like we do every time with some gratitude because we have so many things to be thankful for. And some of those things in particular are the amazing fans and amazing viewers like you guys that are watching at home from all over the world for your generous donations on our Tiltify campaign. So thank you so much to uh, an anonymous donor who wanted to stay quiet. So whoever you are out there, thank you so much for your donation. And also to the one and only Stud Muffin, thank you for your generous donation. Now, all of you that are watching, if you don't know what I'm talking about, make yourself familiar with our Tiltify campaign. So Sam will throw the link up in the comment section. She'll make it nice and easy for you. Or you can go to the About Us page and that little, I think it's a purple box on our Tiltify campaign where you can donate any amount of money and no donation is too small. And all of the money goes to the ALS Association's Greater Chicago Chapter. And I will remind you as always, every single service that the chapter provides is free of charge. And this can only happen because of your generosity and your donations. So keep them coming. We appreciate the heck out of all of you. Thank you so much for everything. And let's see what we can hit tonight. In the course of our show, one hour tonight, Let's see how much money we can raise. And also, we want to give all of you a big thing. So if you are watching, I don't know if you've seen us on social media, but we're doing this really awesome appreciation giveaway. So if you are watching the show, as long as you follow us and subscribe to our channel, and then in the comment section, hashtag Season Sunflower Hour, and let us know where you're tuning in from, you'll be entered in to win a free gift card. It's as simple as that. So make sure you stay with us. And if you keep coming back to every episode, keep doing the same thing. You can keep being entered as long as we're doing this promotion. So make sure you let us know where you're tuning in from. Say hello. We want to know what's going on in everyone's lives. Oh, we've already got some highs coming in. Hi, Kev69. Nice, I am so glad you are back. You are a you are a heartfelt viewer that's tuned in on every episode, and we appreciate you so much. Thanks for sticking with us through all this. Now, speaking of our Sunflower Hour family, we are bringing on a familiar face. I am so excited to welcome him back. He was here on a previous episode. You guys got to know him a little bit. He has spent his entire career serving others and upholding the law with his career in law enforcement, as an attorney, and as a judge. He is a fearless leader. We are so excited to have him back. Oh, the Mizantis are tuning in. Hello. Thank you guys for tuning in. We will have a great show tonight. And speaking of a great show, as I was saying, Dan is coming back. He's a familiar face. Hopefully you guys will recognize him. He is back tonight to celebrate with us. Now, we were able to chat with him last month a little bit about his ALS journey and all that he has gone through and especially being diagnosed in the midst of a pandemic. But there is so much more to this story. So please welcome back Dan. And he is joined tonight with his brother, Steve, an, an amazing ALS advocate. So I'm so excited to get to talk to both of them. So please welcome Dan and Steve Schmidt. Hi, guys. Hello. There, I was telling them earlier, they are our superstars for tonight. These handsome gentlemen got me so distracted earlier. I forgot what I was doing. I forgot to reach out to our other guests. They just had me all discombobulated. So <laughs> welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. And Dan, I want to jump in and say, last time you were here, we got to talk about it. You had something really exciting coming up. You had a wedding. You were out of town because your son was getting married. So uh, how was the wedding? <laughs> Well, the wedding was in Maine. It was great. And uh, then we came back, and the wedding was small. But then back here in downstate Illinois and Morton, they had a wedding reception. And they had come and made about a dollar dance. And I said, that's really cheesy. You can't do that to you guys. But they ignored me, and then they said they were having a dollar dance, but then they announced it was to raise money for ALS, not the bride and groom. So they raised almost a thousand dollars for ALS and their little at their wedding reception. 
Wow. And you had no idea? You didn't no, know they I were? Had no idea. In fact, if I had known, I probably would have had to put the kibosh on it because of my job. We're not allowed to uh, solicit funds even for charity, for your church, for cancer society, or even for ALS. So, uh, but it was done without my knowledge. And so, and they did, I didn't. So anyway, it's pretty cool. They're sneaky. They knew. <laughs> yeah. I think that's so special. What You raised a good one, it sounds like. You raised a great son. I can't believe it. I love that they raised that much money. That's so exciting. Yeah. Now, yeah. now we everyone's heard that saying that it's a small world. And it seems like that has never been more true in this situation. It's an absolute small world. Now, Steve, tell us how your job transitioned into turning you into the superstar ALS advocate that you are today? Well, when I retired from the sheriff's department, I was subbing teaching school for a little bit. A buddy of mine called me and said, let's go have a talk and yeah, make a long story short. I started working in executive security and transportation uh, for Caterpillar. And we're mostly retired law enforcement. And I got spending an awful lot of time with this one group president, well known now, Ted Rapp. And it seemed like every time it was going somewhere, not every time, but <clears throat> we were together an awful lot. And, uh, and uh, I just have never met anybody quite like that. He's just one of the finest individuals that I've ever known in any capacity. Uh, and we traveled together and, and, and we worked, you know, I, like took care of him, make sure he'd get where he needed to be. And then he was, when he was diagnosed with ALS five years ago, the last number, it just kind of just knocked me down and my wife down. And, and, uh, but so we got involved uh, with Kendra and the group out of Chicago and uh, started on the ALS committee here. And that was five years ago uh, and, and got involved with setting up the walks down here and working any way we could with them. And then, lo and behold, then, then Dan gets it. And I remember how I, Dan told me, he just he called me one day and said, do you have Ed Rapp's phone number? And I go, well, yeah, but who wants it? You know, I'm not giving it out. He goes, well, I do. And then, so that's how that started. Uh, but, and, and this the disease, we've had friends, Danny and I have a friend back home in Chillicothe, his brother died of ALS. Uh, uh, one of my best friend's brother also died of ALS. Uh, it, it is just a devastating disease and it needs to be brought to justice as we were trying to get through in a program. And I guess, Dan, you're saying that we cannot use that like we we're talking about? Can't uh, use my name, I'm told. Can we use mine? Uh, yeah. Can we use Smith? Uh, we can use anybody's <laughs> name, uh, but mine. <laughs> He well, likes to stay quiet in the background. <laughs> well, I, and I understand that uh, whole deal and how that works, but uh, we come up with a deal, and we've always been pretty much team rap. But uh, my wife came up with an idea. Uh, Trish did about let's set it up. And can you come up with a slogan? So I said, you know, just uh, team Schmidt. It was going to be Dan Schmidt, but we could do, maybe we can get away with team Schmidt and let's just bring ALS to justice. Uh, I can use that as I was uh, in law enforcement for almost 30 years. So if anybody asks, yeah, I'm the one that brings them to justice. <laughs> uh, it's true. Just, that, that hands it down. It's, but, I love that. That's such a good tagline. Let's bring ALS to justice, guys. Let's end this. Let's lock it away forever. Let's get rid of this. It stinks. We don't want it anymore. <laughs> that's a good plan. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, uh, Guys like my brother with their attitude and their uh, desire to get involved and, and uh, help fight the disease, that's, that's the most important part of it all. Absolutely. And you make such a great point because it's true, Dan, you have the best attitude and so many of the guests that we have on this show that are battling ALS, you guys have the most positive, just happy, great attitude. And life is just throwing it all at you. I don't know how you do it, but kudos. Seriously. 
Well, I, the truth is, uh, it's not happy all the time, but you do your best. Yeah. Hey, it's all you can do, and you're doing your best is pretty darn good, I have to tell you. Because <laughs> you always have that handsome smile going. I just love it. <laughs> you want to see that? I was going to say, if you want to see that smile go away, I'll have Trish run over there real quick. Oh. <laughs> I to start threatening with something. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody can quite push your buttons like family can. I'm sure of it. <laughs> she knows exactly how to take you off. Well, so Steve, this was to me really ironic the way all of this played out and that ALS actually came into your life before Dan was diagnosed. And then Dan, you were recently diagnosed last year. We talked earlier about it in this pandemic, but do you think going through this diagnosis, Steve, with your previous sort of knowledge and your previous advocacy on ALS, did that make things maybe easier? Was it easier having each other and sort of knowing what was coming? Did that help at all? Well, it, it, sometimes, I don't know if the word is help. Uh, it, it made me aware of, of things, but uh, and I, I suppose in a way that helps. Just knowing that about the, I've learned an awful lot about the disease from Ed in, the, in our travels and our talks, and, and since Ed has retired, uh, but yeah, I, I, I guess help would work, but it, it just made me aware of, of exactly the circumstances, uh, because I really don't think any, I don't know of uh, anything other than what I mentioned earlier, attitude is it can help one approach and deal with the situation. Yeah. If Danny's got uh, got that going right there, mm. and he's got a wife that's there to take care of him, uh, uh, Marine has been excellent. And, uh, mm. <laughs> At least you guys have each other to lean on. You know, there's there is like like sunflowers, like our beautiful show logo. You guys are together as a family. You're stronger than ever, and you're just supporting each other through and through, which is really beautiful to see. Uh, and we still fight about politics. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. We didn't, don't you, that up. <laughs> didn't you get the memo? You're not supposed to talk about politics. That always turns ugly. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've fought about that forever. And so we still do. I love it. What better way to get things going and get your blood pressure worked up than to talk some <laughs> politics? That's what brothers do. It, it, uh, they they argue, and, and, and if they don't, at, at one point or another in time, well, then uh, that's not right. It's it's true. Kind of, I don't think you count as siblings if you haven't had an all-out brawl or got on each other's nerves. It just doesn't count. <laughs> and, well, that's true. Well, I never came to a brawl because that's where I'm, that's where the big brother comes into place here. Oh. So uh, words of the words, and you can't debate with Dan. Uh, okay. uh, he's, too good at what he does there. Uh, uh, see, that's why I don't have any siblings. So I don't know what that's like. I've never had to fight with. <laughs> I have animals, and they just love me, and they never, they never disobey. They never talk back. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> so much better than siblings. <laughs> well, well, speaking. So we're we're doing a whole other walk theme tonight because we have we still have three more mini walks, which are really exciting, that are going to be taking place throughout September. And you guys are kind of walk veterans. So, Steve, what does the the Peoria walk mean to you? And has it taken on sort of a new meaning or a new life for you since your brother was diagnosed last year? It, well, what is one thing that's brought up is like uh, I mentioned earlier, the attempt to come up with another team, uh, which nothing to get take away from Ed by any means because it's all going to the same place. But uh, what Trish and I've got now, this more than anything, is uh, we've met, including yourself now, some very wonderful people, dedicated, uh, and dedicated advocates to the program that are just looking at new ways to. Uh, to come up and address the situation. And, and, and I'm, I'm just so impressed with that. And I've been blessed to meet some wonderful people. Uh, and uh, just, uh, and I can't speak highly enough of the group. When uh, we were up in Chicago for the LS game, it was uh, Julie and Sarah, I think it was, came over the game and, and uh, um, wonderful. Just the whole program was wonderful. And I think now that Major League Baseball is taking a major stand on it, uh, it can only get uh, uh, better prepared to fight this thing and maybe get rid of it 
sooner than not. <clears throat> it's true. You're talking about, so for people that don't know, you're talking about the inaugural Lou Gehrig's Day that happened on June 2nd. It was a huge thing for us because across the board, every Major League Baseball team celebrated on this day across the nation on all of their games, and they honored Lou Gehrig's Day, recognizing ALS, which was really, really cool. And so you two, as brothers, got to be here in Chicago for the game over here. And yeah, Dan and I were talking about it last time. It was just such a cool vibe, right? The The atmosphere was just so incredible that day. It was. And the Cubs won. And the Cubs won. <laughs> Yay! So, uh, our, one of our guests, I'm not going to spoil and say who it is, but she is here. She is a Sox fan, so I know she's cringing right now. So in case she wasn't paying attention, uh, the Cubs won. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> <laughs> and Dan, you got to, you told us last time, but you got to meet one of your very favorite people at that well, game. I'm so well, excited uh, for you. Well, uh, Steve Gleason and his wife, Michelle, and uh, she came up to us. And we're sitting up a little bit in the nosebleed, and she's as beautiful on the inside as she is on the outside. Aww. I'm so glad you had that moment. Yeah, well, yeah, and then we went down, and he said, Steve wants to meet you, so I went down where he was and got talked with him, and then as a Cub fan, any good Cub fan, no, Theo Epstein was with him and uh, uh, sitting there. So I got to meet Theo Epstein along with T. Gleason and chat with him for a few minutes. I don't, did you tell me that before? I don't remember that part. That's extra special. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And also because we spend time in Maine, were uh, kind of Red Sox fans in the American League. And uh, uh, of course, Theo Epstein did for the Red Sox what he did for the Cubs. And uh, I bet he can't buy a drink in Chicago or Boston. Uh, I, what a day, seriously, what a day you were yeah. having. This is amazing. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Aww. It was a beautiful day, it was yeah. a beautiful day. I'm glad you guys got to share it again together, that you guys get to have these experiences together. That's really special. And bringing it back to our walk, which is equally very, very special. Um, Dan, what does it mean to you to see all of these individuals come together, to, to see everybody, to hear us doing all this promotion, to see people donating, to see people starting walk teams? What does that mean to you? Well, it means, I guess, a few people care. Once you've been uh, touched by this uh, disease, I'll be, I've been involved in a number of charities before, but never ALS, quite frankly, until I uh, got struck with it. But Easter Seals and things like that, that uh, where we donated previously, but it just means people care. And of course, uh, in the pandemic, they didn't have the in-person walks. And what I understand is they're not going to have it this year either, at least in Florida. There are going to be many walks. So I hope I'm still around when they have an in-person. You will be. You will be because you are a fighter. You are not going to let this disease get to you. You are fighting it, and uh, you're going to be here. You're going to be here when we get all together again for an in-person walk. I know it. Yeah. Well, hopefully that will be, uh, what, I guess uh, 2022? Yeah, I think so. Uh, tomato, yeah. Okay. I well, so. uh, I do my best to be there. And we're going to keep saying all kinds of prayers because I'm not letting you go. Steve's not letting you go. <laughs> it's just not happening. You're going to be here with us cheering on these walk teams. We're all going to be wearing the, the Smith lockup ALS shirt. <laughs> uh, and a Cub hat. And a Cub hat. Absolutely. <laughs> and a Cubs water bottle for our handy walk. And before you guys take off, I want to know from both of you, why should people walk to defeat ALS? You let all our listeners know right now, why should they 
walk to defeat ALS? Well, I guess because once you got ALS, you can't walk. If you've had it long enough, I can't walk anymore. So it's symbolic, I guess, that that's the idea behind the walk. But that's my best guess. Steve, what do you think? What's your pitch to get people to walk? Mine is, is that with my personal experience is that you can get involved in a situation and never realize how it could turn right around and come back to your own home, you know, or to your own family. Uh, and, uh, but what I have learned is that getting involved with so many of the people with the organization, uh, they become like family. I mean, I, I can talk to Kendra like a sister, uh, uh, and uh, I talk to Ed like a little brother, uh, and he keeps saying younger brother. Uh, uh, so it's it's like another family, and, and I think if we get the family unity within the family, and, and uh, go from there and try to help everybody. In the family. You know, real quickly, I think I misunderstood your question, and you say, "I why should people walk?" I guess. And I guess the only thing I'd say there is what I tell my son, what I've experienced in life, is when you're thinking about somebody else's problems, you aren't worrying about your own. And uh, yeah. It's true. That's a really, really good point. And Dan, and I want people to get out there. We're walking for you, Dan. Steve, we're walking for Ed. We are walking for everybody who is fighting this battle. We are showing you that we are standing with you and we are not giving up until we find a cure for this disease. So you guys, if you're watching and you want to join the beauty, like Dan said, it's a virtual walk this year. So you can be anywhere in the whole wide world. You can join Dan and Steve's walk team from anywhere. If you want to join, hop on, let us know. We'll get you all the information, but let's do this. Let's put an end to this nasty disease. Right, guys, let's end this. Uh, <laughs> uh, cool. <laughs> we're going to end it. I love you guys so much. As always, I just want to talk to you forever. So we're going to have to keep having you come back on because I just feel like there's so many more things that we could talk about. You two are so fun. You're so delightful. It was, I'm so happy that you guys got to come back. So thank you so much. We'll talk Pleasure. again very soon. You take uh, care. Bye. Uh, you Pleasure. too. Bye, guys. Ah, uh, those brothers are the best. And how crazy is it the way life works out sometimes that Steve finds himself in this situation where he's working with someone with ALS, he's sparked and wants to get involved. He's, he joins the chapter, he becomes an advocate. And five years later, he finds himself in the situation of having his brother diagnosed. It just absolutely is crazy. But you know what, everything happens for a reason. And these two brothers are out there spreading the word, making some waves and making people listen about ALS awareness like all of you. So thank you guys for listening in and make sure that you check out the Tiltify campaign because you want to donate, you want to get involved, you want to help people like Dan. Let's put an end to this, okay? Jump on, donate, and also join a walk team because like I said, we still have three more walks this year. And there are really no rules. So even after September, after we finished our walk, that doesn't mean you have to stop. You can keep walking, take a walk around your block, go to a forest preserve, go hang out at your family's house, walk anywhere, anytime in the name of ALS awareness. Make sure you tag us, post on Instagram, post on Facebook, everywhere. We are ALSA Chicago. We want to know where you're walking, who you're walking with, and why you're walking. If you're walking for somebody, if you're standing tall and strong with somebody, we want to know. So share your stories. Also, we do have open registration right now for the virtual ALS caregivers boot camp, which is happening on August 7th. And that is great for anyone watching. If any of you are caregivers or you know a caregiver, somebody that is taking care of a loved one with ALS, this would be really great information for them. It is completely free of charge. It is completely virtual. So you don't even have to leave your house. You can sign up. Again, it's free. And it gives you all kinds of information on how to care for, it touches on so many different topics. And you have our care 
service coordinators and topic related specialists that are there to answer all of your questions. Anything you might be thinking, you might be feeling, you might be curious about, you can come in a safe space and talk about all of it because this disease is hard and being a caregiver is hard. So this is a great community to get together and talk about all of that and know what you're in for and get prepared. So again, that is the virtual ALS caregiver boot camp on August 7th and it is open right now. Sam already put the link up. So if you know anyone, you yourself sign up or share that with anyone that is taking care of a loved one with ALS. And now next up in all things walk related, since we are still gearing up for our next three mini walks in September, we're going to bring back the one and only my truly other half in life. I couldn't survive on the show without her. Um, the producer behind the scenes extraordinaire, Sam is coming back to join us. Hey, Sam. Hello, hello. You guys, this girl hates being in front of the camera. And <laughs> for some reason, I feel like more than ever, I have continued to pull her in front of the camera. She's and bringing me back. She's doing it. She's just doing it. Like you know, season. Happy to join you. I love it. And we have some really cool things that we're going to do right now. Because on our last episode, guys, um, announcement alert, we put out a poll we did our little game. We came up with 60 seconds of whatever names we could think of for a walk team because we decided we are going to start a walk team for our show. Very exciting. This is the first one ever. This is the first season ever of the show. So this is our first ever <laughs> walk team. Hopefully many, many more to come. But we came up with a bunch of names. You guys watching were chiming in, throwing out some names, which we love. We love having you guys be a part of this. So we took, I think, about eight of them maybe. We threw them up on Instagram for a poll. And we let you guys pick the name of our walk team. So results are in. The Instagram poll has closed. And the winning name for our show walk team is... Da, 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 da. I can't make a drum roll. <laughs> yeah, sunflower strong. Sunflower strong. Sunflower strong. So, guys, we officially are launching our very own walk team. And Sam is going to walk us through right now because if you know me, you know that I am stay away from technology. So, Sam <laughs> is going to show us how easy it is to set up a walk team. So, if any of you are watching and you want to do this, she's going to show you exactly how to do it. Absolutely. So I went ahead, I got some of the basic steps done right away just to make sure we were good to go for the show. Um, but you just head over to the website for the show. So I'll type in the chat now. You can see all um, of the different of our different regional walks at webalsa.org slash Chicago chapter walks. And from there, you can see all three of our regional walks as well as the Chicago walk, uh, our three fall regional walks as well as the Chicago walk. You can sign up for any one of those walks. Um, you just need to make your username and password. Um, and every team captain will receive uh, the superhero supply box to, to help set up their um, their awesome mini walk um, in whatever capacity that is. We've got all sorts of tools to help you along the way um, from decorations in the mini uh, in the in the supply box to uh, virtual help with fundraising ideas online, everything from A to Z. So um, what the show the page that I've got up here is uh, the the Sunflower Strong team page. And we can make lots of little uh, tweaks to it to make it exactly what we want it to look like. So if we want to, we'll go into the editable version. Oh, let me pop this join us back in here. Dun, dun, dun. We'll all get to see her password now. Just kidding. It's your password. So. <laughs> oh, oh, see. <laughs> You'll all okay. get to know my password. <laughs> here's some here's some really easy steps to make fundraising, like to make your setup and your fundraising um, even more effective. So first thing right here, we can edit our page URL so we can make it super short, um, super snappy. We went ahead and I did the team name here. Save. Well, it's already saved because it was already the same thing. But if we wanted to say like 2000. Uh, 21, anything like that. We can add it, edit that. Um, we can edit our team photo. Let's see, do we want to do, let's put a fun one in there just for now. I'll make season, see, uh, season can test if she can change it back later. Oh dear, we're in trouble. <laughs> we may be stuck with this photo for the long haul. So let's make a good one, Sam. <laughs> let's see, what do I have? <laughs> 
it's sad. I don't even think I have those logo photos saved on my phone. So this really might be season. Be oh goodness. <laughs> goodness. Sam I'm is my out. everything. <laughs> I've got some headshots from season. Oh, so hey now. <laughs> just to show you how easy it is. We Woo! can do it just like that in just a couple of clicks. So editing the team it. photo, this would be for the team captain page. I'll go ahead, we'll put it back to no. how about our, our uh, show logo deal. Deal. We're trying to get people to join the team, not scare them away. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very pretty dress. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> See. Bargain galore. I'm pretty sure that dress was about five dollars. I am a bargain hunter. <laughs> five dollars? Five dollars. Yes, it was. That's amazing. It was. I think this is the one. Do it like Ooh. that. Love it. You guys, look how easy this is. Oh. Seriously, I love her walking us through this because I think a lot of times people get really scared with things like this, especially people that aren't great with technology, and they sometimes shy away from it because it's intimidating. But yeah, and we want to show you how easy it is. Yeah. Another thing I would recommend if we want to edit here, so they they do a great job with the templates here, explaining and and sharing facts about it. But we want to say why we want to get involved. So I do recommend taking a paragraph, sharing your story. You can just type it right here. That's what I do for my personal pages. I just put a little bit here. Um, but for now, we can just do, how about we just say, joy light and all things bright. <laughs> so we can edit that. It's really easy that you can toy around with it all you want. Let's see, we wanna make it, how about we do? make it bigger love it i love this this is also for me guys i am learning along with you <laughs> so this <laughs> is fantastic back on her page later and see if she's edited it at all true, okay but you'll see all your team members here we'll go ahead go ahead and visit seasons right now you can do the same thing with your personal page. So you can edit your team photo. Mine is um, mm -hmm. one of me and my my ALS hero, my grandpa. Um, mm -hmm. And I think for my team, I do like one of me and my family at our walk. Uh, but yeah, see, oh, here we did. I did it. <laughs> I was very creative. I'm yes, very creative. yes. <laughs> uh, but so I, I do recommend adding a little um, information here about um, what, you, you know, if you're planning on doing a mini walk or how, why you're involved, that sort of stuff. Um, you can also edit the page URL again. So I've got your first name there. Your first name was available. So you got a nice Ooh. little handy, a little short link, um, Yay. change the photo. You can also edit your goal from here. So season, what do you think you want to raise? Ooh, I love that. You guys chime in. Who's watching? What do you think we could raise? You let us know who wants to donate, who wants to be on the Sunflower Strong team and who wants to donate to this walk? Let's throw some numbers out there. Six million, that is very <laughs> ambitious. <laughs> Incredibly ambitious. So Kev Nice, are you sponsoring us for $6 million? Is that what you, is that what you were saying? <laughs> we can start at 600. Let's start there and go from there. Yeah. Um, as you as you um, participate and start um, taking care of or like, you know, complete things like if you make a self donation, you'll get a little badge here. Oh, there we go. Six million. Oh, okay. oh, 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 oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> that um, whiz. Can you translate that to dollars for us for all of those people that do not have their cell phones handy to do the yeah, math? Because I don't know what the conversion is for the. Uh, <laughs> for the Rupa at the moment. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, you can make all of these, these changes. It's really simple. When you head over back to the fundraise page, which is like kind of the main page when you're logged in, um, it gives you a summary. It gives you the, the tools to edit those pages we were just checking out. You can use these email templates, which is so, so helpful. So they've got lots of different sample messages. You can ask people to join your team. You can ask for donations. You can thank people right away. So it helps you track oh, those yeah. who have donated. Yeah, so, so, so handy. People who use the, the email function tend to raise uh, the statistic. It's four times more than those Ooh. who don't. Isn't that wild? Yeah, so email wow. is so really, really an effective tool. Um, and you've got all sorts of ways to personalize it here. So definitely recommend that out. We've got the social sharing center. 
Um, I know that Susan herself is not a Facebook person, but if anybody is, if you want to do a Facebook fundraiser and you do it through this page, it connects directly to your walk efforts so that you've got, if somebody make, donates $20 on Facebook, it shows up on your walk thermometer as well. Like no work on your end. It's immediately connected, which is super fabulous. So but, cool. let's see, what else do I want to show off before I head out for the night? We've got lots of tools that we work on. This more events page is where we really put in as much info as we can. You can see my info here if you need to get a hold of us. We've got the dates to help, you know, to guide you through. Lots of tools that we'll continually be adding. Um, all sorts, all sorts of fun stuff. So we've got ideas, tools, tips, um, photos, all sorts of wonderful stuff on there. I love that. You are making it so easy. You guys do all the hard work for us, basically, so that we can, yeah, yeah you guys do. And I have to say, you guys, they're so accessible. They are, if you need them at any moment in time for any question, they are there to help you. If you need ideas and tips on how to fundraise, if you want to go that route, they are there to help you. And might I say, you do not have to fundraise. We want you to because we need you and, and this chapter survives on donations and fundraising from you guys. But if if that's out of your means right now, if you don't have the time to fundraise, it's okay. You can still walk, you can still join the team and you can still spread awareness. Yeah. And any, oh, you tell, you hit him with it, Sam. You oh, go. I was just gonna say, so season, we've got your walk team set up. I'll go ahead and I'll stop sharing for now. Here we go. So we've got your walk team set up. I know for walk day, Probably not doing anything, you know, in person or anything. But if you out there, anybody watching wants to join, you're welcome to join Season's team. I mean, you're the team captain. You go ahead. But ah. I'll put the link in the comments. I love it. Put the link in the comments. Join, join. Who? Let's have a race to see who can be the first person to join. And you'll get a special surprise. Ooh. Not sure what it is yet, but you will get a special surprise from us. And it'll be awesome. Of course, it will be awesome. So who is going to be the first person to join my walk team? And also, do you guys have any questions before Sam heads out while she's here, while we've got the pro? Does anyone have any questions? Anyone thinking about joining a walk team? Are there anything you are leery about? Anything you want to ask us? Because we can tell it all. Actually, Sam can tell it all if I'm being serious. <laughs> you guys are being extra quiet today. It's okay. Everyone's scared. We're, oh, yes, that's it. There's the link. <laughs> There's the cool. link. <laughs> you guys join, 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 join. And tell all your friends, share it with everybody. Everybody join the Sunflower Strong Walk team. We're going to start, we're going to start a whole new movement here. All right, get on it. Yes. If you want to participate in the fall walks, uh, like I said, there's that link above. You can see all four of our regional walks. You can still participate in the Chicago efforts. They're still working to fundraise. Um, but you could, so you can do a, a superhero Saturday any day of the year. But the other mini walk days are going to be September 11th for Peoria, uh, September 18th for Northern Illinois, and September 25th for Champaign. So sign up. Awesome. Team captains will get their free box. Every walker who raises $90 will receive an event t-shirt. And mm -hmm. there's no fundraising minimum or cost to get registered to get started. To support the to support the mission. So awesome. Sam, you are the greatest. Everybody, please flood us with people joining our walk team so Sam has a ton of extra work to do. <laughs> she right. wants it. All right, Susan. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. You guys, Sam is seriously the greatest. I can't say enough good things about this girl. She is with me for life. I'm never letting her go. <laughs> Sam, you're never leaving me. But the link is up there. So if you want to join the walk team, you saw how easy that was. She was able to set all that up in the matter of five, six minutes. We can go back in there. We can change things at any time, play around with it. You want to be on my team because, I mean, we're going to have the most fun. It's going to be super fun. So join the Sunflower Strong team. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. You can be anywhere. And we'll just we'll pick a day. You don't even have to do it on the same day as me, if I'm being totally honest. We can just go out and walk. You can walk five minutes. You can walk five hours. Whatever floats your boat. Um, it's going to be fun. So join the team. The link is over there. Make sure you check it out. Click on it. And donate if you want to. Donate to the walk team. Donate to the Tiltify campaign. Let's just spread some love and spread some donations. Oh, so 
Thank you so anonymous. It's insane for donating to the Tiltify campaign. I love how creative these names keep getting every episode. So anonymous, it's insane. That is awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hopefully, whoever you are, feel free to join the walk team while you're at it. Click those links over there in the in the comment section. Now, you guys, this is about to get real, real right now. So I don't know if you guys have seen this past episode or not. Um, when we when we hit our milestones on Tiltify, we have really fun different things we do each time. So awesome. We hit our $1,000 raised milestone. So I mean, that's seriously, that is a round of applause to all of you because we did this because of you and all of your donations. So because of that, we are going to be sending out a bouquet of sunflowers to somebody deserving in the ALS community, someone that is battling ALS that maybe just needs their day brightened up. So because of you, we are gonna be sending out some sunflower bouquets, but also the previous goal we hit was the do not laugh challenge. And Sabrina and I went head to head. I kicked her butt. I'm gonna give her a lot more crap for this when she comes on, but let's just say, it, let's call it how it is. And I beat her real bad. So we are going to have another little round two of this because she is so confident. She's been practicing, she's ready. She thinks she's gonna try to beat me. She wants to take the title. Not going to happen, but I love the confidence she has. But since we reached our $1,000 goal, we're going to bring my other half, my co-host for my podcast and hers. She's coming back on. Sabrina, come into the room now. Come in and get ready to take your punishment, you big loser. <laughs> um, I just would like to remind you that last time I talked the talk and did not walk the walk. And it's you're crazy. talking, you're talking smack this time so i'm talking and a lot i'm i i really do if you lose if you lose you need to fill up a cup of water and dump it on your head <sighs> but but if you get a tie if you laugh for my joke you need to do that again too to do that oh. too. are you what? ready for that Okay, now I'm going to disclaimer, I'm going to tell you, I really can't lose. I was going to let myself go a little free this time. I was going to, you know, sit back, enjoy the ride, maybe laugh. But I have to film a video after this. So there is no <gasps> way that I can lose because I cannot <laughs> dump water on my head <laughs> and mess up hair and makeup at this point. So Sabrina, I am even more confident that oh. you are going and also down. you need to watch you do it yeah okay i do okay. have to say before we get started that i did hear your white socks comment earlier <laughs> um so i was listening just so you know and i also would like dan to know that in 2022 i will wear i'm putting this on the record right now <gasps> I will wear a cub shirt to the Peoria walk yes. with him in yes. 2022 because he will yes. be there. Yes. You are correct. Yes, you want me to do the cub <laughs> So he will be yes, there, but, but I will wear a cub shirt in Peoria 2022. For that Dan. is the best thing ever. We're going to put this cup now, okay, Mom? Okay? Right, Thor. That is the best thing ever. Say, get up, real quick. Go, Cubs. <laughs> Go, Cubbies. I'm giving you a hug through the can. I'm, you, are, you are so right. He's going to be there. And I think yes, that is there. the absolute best way to celebrate it, making a diehard Sox fan show I mean, up, support, and love I might be shocked by him. lightning, from my father, but in, for Dan, he will be there and mm -hmm. I will do it for him. I love so. that. I love that you were doing this so much. And guys, if you don't know who Sabrina is, I just keep forgetting and assume that everyone knows her because she is a superstar. She is an advocate extraordinaire. She has been one of our biggest supporters with the chapter. Her father passed away of ALS and she has just taken this tragedy, turned it to triumph and become such an amazing advocate to make sure that no other family has to go through this. And if they find themselves in the situation, she's doing everything she can to get them all the information, all the resources, 
everything possible. She's such a superstar. And not only is she a kick butt ALS advocate, but she has also become, you know, my new best friend because we, Sabs is my co-host extraordinaire. Her and I are co-hosting a podcast called Season and Sabs, Keep Up the Gabs. That was her brilliant brainchild because she is just this marketing <laughs> social media whiz. Just I love it. No. I think it's going to be sad soon. You think Season's going to turn into Sab soon? Yeah. <laughs> she couldn't I'm handle being Sabs. Okay, Sab, let's go. <laughs> I think you are so right. Thor. Are I the yeah, right. We're, we're doing it, Thor. We're doing it. But um, okay, so is that the stakes? We're sticking with the water thing. <sighs> well, yes. okay. Here's here's what we could do. Since you do have to do something after. Yeah. If you lose, or when you lose. <laughs> There's that confidence you, again. I can't help it. I can't help it. How did that turn out for you the last time we did this? I know I'm I'm trying real hard not to talk <laughs> smack, but I will say I have zero John Cena videos. So hopefully I'll be I'll be better. We can discuss something else after because I don't want you to have to ruin your hair and makeup. If or I lose, always- which won't happen. It won't. I, I know that. you'll take it. I know you'll take it. And you know what? I don't back out of if I lose, I will do it. Just I say we do it on another. We do it on another night. I bring you back for another episode and I will take it like a champ on the next episode. You know, I yeah, Logan, you, yeah. Yeah. I think that we can come back for another episode to see that. What do yeah. you think? Yeah. All okay, right. So watch the challenge. Okay. Now, ready? We will. We'll, we'll figure it out after. Okay. So let me. It yeah, so you are, guys, and you guys join in too. Feel free to chime in with some jokes, with some whatever you think that can try to get Sabrina to laugh, not me, because I don't want to lose. So anything you can think of that's going to make Sabs over there giggle. Thor, feel free to tickle your mom. Do whatever you have Ooh. to do to make her laugh. I'll appreciate it a lot. <laughs> actually, 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 this is how do do everything to make you laugh. <gasps> I like that. I like that a lot. I don't like that, but I get it. You gotta you gotta take your mom aside, but but no, make her laugh, not me, okay? Wink. Okay. Well, not you're just making me laugh. <laughs> All right. So Okay, I so think here we go. Start guys. with with um some of season's favorites, which are animals. So let's take a look. All right. And can you guys, can you see it season two? I just, I have it just on us. So not yet. It's just us. Not yet. So you got to share your screen to. um... Okay. I have, let me see. Give me, it says I'm sharing. So let me just try and switch screens. One moment. Let me pause this because that's a funny looking. There yeah. we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. So here we go. I'm not gonna laugh. <laughs> Wait, was it a laugh? Oh, we didn't start yet. I said, you I'm not going to laugh. Oh, I, I thought you could see it. Because it started no. on my end. So, hold. Oh, oh man. Okay. Oh, there. Sam's going to come Thank in and solve our oh, problems. Hi, Sam. Hey. Okay. So, let's remove, Thanks. I'm going to go ahead and remove the one that you're sharing right now. And then. Okay, yes. You Thank you. Share, does it give you the option to. When I pop up to do share screen. It says entire uh-huh. screen window or tab. Yes. That might be the trick. So do you have the video on a tab in your browser? I do, yes. So you could do the tab okay. or you can share the window. That might help. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Yep. Let us... Bye, Sam. Thank you. Bye, Sam. Guys, I love this. 
This is what happens in a live show. You guys get to be here for all of the excitement. Okay. Okay, I think we, okay. Sam, do I just nod your head? Do I add, oh, she, she did it already. Is it on oh, there? Oh, okay. no, not the cute puppies. <laughs> ah. uh, all right. So, we ready, Susan? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ready, Thor? Three, two, one, start! <laughs> oh. And foxes are so beautiful, too. Oh. Okay, I'm going to do one more minute and then I'm switching to the next one. Yeah. Um, Must you very observant. Put you on the book. Someone noticed Jax. that Sabrina has almost already laughed. It's true. Oh, I can't see what people are saying. Lily. But, but you're right. Who's your best friend? <gasps> I'm sorry, but hairless cats scare me. Okay, so let me um, bring up, sorry, now that it was on this other one, let me get back to that playlist. And I just love animals so much. I want all of them. I just want to snuggle all of them. Uh, hold on. Sorry, it's not up now since right. I, oh, here we go. Ready for this? Okay. Don't move. Anybody no, Nobody move. Nobody move. Nobody move. Nobody move. When I say run, run like hell. <laughs> Those things. I want. I want to try them so bad. I love. I love. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's one. I love scaring people so much. <laughs> nope, don't want you. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Why, 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 why? I love it. She's wearing the snuggie too. I have that. Oh my god. Go! <laughs> get it, get it! Oh no. So what I found. Roach, a big one. <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no. That's my third. I'm gonna get somebody. Oh. Look what I got in the pool. Look what I got in the pool. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> she trained. Herself. Okay. So, yeah. I know we have a few minutes left in the show, so I can say that. I'm officially lost. I, I want to get this one more thing in the videos I want to see. We still have a couple oh. minutes. I feel like there was one about the anesthesia. Oh, yes. Let me try and bring those back up. No, Just because I want to see if it was even worse. I, okay. While these are coming up, I <laughs> get such enjoyment out of scaring people that don't I, I scare Thor a lot. I Yeah, and I don't like it, mom. <laughs> Thor, what's the what's one of the, the scariest things your mom's done to scare you? When I was trying to look at her, I was trying to see what she was doing. She scared me so much. I was so afraid. <gasps> I just get I just get don't a lot do of that ever again, oh. mom. You know oh, what you can do oh, to get a bath, Thor? Now. 
you know what? I think because your mom lost so bad again, I think you should be the one to throw the water on her head as payback for all the time she scared you. Uh, Oh, do you think so? Okay, how about we do this? Yes. Hey, Bri. Are we going to go for round three sometime? Um, absolutely. Ooh. And I'm going to bring the computer outside. Will you get a cup of water for sure? And we're going to, we're taking a season sunflower hour on the road. On the we're road. On the Brian, board. don't make it a cup. Get a whole pot full, maybe a bucket, whatever you have. <sighs> what I, what I do for ALS it's well true. And it, you know, but. and can I just say, the queen of talking smack got smacked down again. <laughs> I even got to pick the videos, but scaring people just. I'm saying that it, you need to watch it. <laughs> uh, scaring people just gets me every time. So now I know I'll all say your it's well worth it. John Cena scaring people. <laughs> I just get so much enjoyment. Here's a story about my dad, actually. When I was in high school, a friend of mine, we enjoyed to scare my dad. And so she hid in the pantry. And when he'd get home from work, she would jump out of the pantry and scare him. Because that was what we just... Oh, an ice water? Oh, okay. I love it. Way to go, hubby. Right, wait, hold on, we gotta make sure that they're ready. Okay, are you ready, season? Oh, I am. I have been waiting for this. I am so ready. <laughs> like we'll be back for a third episode and uh we'll see you then i feel like you've got to step up your training a little bit it's a little bit yeah just 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 a little bit bit. a little bit oh girl you took it like a champ thank you in the name of als awareness thank you you're welcome you're welcome i'll see you next time i'll I'll see you next (laughs) Dora, thank you for being the best helper ever. Welcome, but next time I'm not going to help you. <laughs> You're out. You're done. This was your limit, buddy. I get it. Yeah. He's just, you know what's happening? He's tired of seeing his mama lose. That's what's happening. You're really. You're. I'm, re- I'm relentless. I'm ruthless. You I are. do not like to lose. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Well, thanks for Uh, having us for round two, and we will be back for round three. We sure will. I'll see you then. All right. See you then. Bye. (laughs) I was holding them all in. Now I get to let it out and laugh. I was never, ever, ever going to let Sabrina beat me. It was on principle. And if you guys didn't see the last one, it's it's somewhere online on YouTube. Go check it out because we did a whole hour of the Do Not Laugh Challenge. And darn it, she put up a good fight. There were some really awesome videos. And we wagered at that point an onion. And both of us, with everything we are, despise onion so bad. And so Sabrina and all her smack, I mean, for days, she was talking smack, setting this up, getting ready to kick my butt. And that girl lost and had to eat an onion like an apple. Awful. She smelled for days. It was horrible. I stayed away from her. I couldn't come near her. Thank goodness our podcast is done virtually far away because I didn't even want to come near that. But we did it again. Thanks to you guys for hitting our goal. It got the second round of the Do Not Laugh Challenge. And once again... I was victorious. So <laughs> thank you guys so much. Make sure you check out the do- the Tiltify donation campaign. You want to get us to that next milestone so that we can keep doing fun things like this. And if you want to be involved, if you have ideas of things you want to see, we want you to let us know. Feel free to jump in on the comments, reach out to us on social media. You can find the ALS Association on all social media platforms at ALSA Chicago. Jump on, say hello to me. 
season underscore Marie underscore. I had to think about that one for a second. You can find us on social media and don't forget to check out our new walk team for the show, Sunflower Strong. Make sure you join. We want to do this together because we want to keep fighting this disease, fighting for Dan, fighting for people in memory like Sabrina's dad, fighting for everyone out there who is battling ALS. Let's put an end to this disease. You guys, thank you so much for spending another great Tuesday night with us. Can't wait to see you for the next show on August 3rd. And until then, everybody, be bright and shine your light. See you next time.